Hello everyone, this is Bentley, uh, and today we're going to take a trip up to the Aquarium Co-op. Um, I'm not going to do a full store tour because honestly, <laughs> my only free time is usually on the weekends, and even then I don't always have all of my weekends free, and the co-op is always crazy busy <laughs> on the weekend, so it's really hard to get like a proper shop tour, like all those ones that you see Jimmy or some of the other people doing, it's after hours, and uh, you know, that's something I have to arrange. I had to go get some supplies anyway, so... What I wanted to do is focus on a couple of my favorite tanks at the Aquarium Co-op. And also a, a small feature on a couple of fish uh, that they just recently got in that are really cool. Um, so we'll do a little bit of just some, some glamour shots and then I'll talk about my favorite tanks up at the Aquarium Co-op and why. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and check them out. Hi, I'm Murphy, and this, this isn't tank tested, but this is Bentley's radio voice. And we're going to take a look at my favorite tanks at the Aquarium Co-op. This is a tank that greets you right when you walk in the door. It's very simple in design. Just Jungle Val, Melon Sword, and some Red Crips, and a very large group of Cardinal Tetras. The whole goal of this tank is to show you that one fish can look stunning in large numbers with a backdrop of the easiest plants to grow. This is Robert's tank. And part of why I love this tank so much is because it's just plants and fish. You have everything from Pogostamon octopus ranging to slightly more difficult plants like Litwigia pantanal and Pogostamon erectus, and a very rare lily. And yet, it's so simple. Just a jungle of all sorts of different plants, and all sorts of different fish. So that if you sit and watch it long enough, you'll see a different little surprise every time. This 60 gallon cube is what greets you from across the shop when you open the door. And this is my favorite way to view it. Looking toward the top third, where you only see the very tops of the stems and the beautiful dragon stone behind it. And most importantly, what is not shy are these wonderful male Kamaka rainbows, happy to display that beautiful silvery blue color the entire time you watch the tank. Well, there you go, guys. There's my favorite tanks at the Aquarium Co-op. It's kind of simple because, you know, there's only a few of them that are, like, really nice to aquascape. A lot of them are designed mostly to sell fish. But there's also some really cool killifish in there that are annuals. They only live, like, eight months to a year uh, because they, they basically die in these mud ponds every year. And they lay their eggs and they go almost completely dry or even completely dry in some cases. And then you, you get them hydrated again and they re they rebreed little babies and just those kind of killifish are crazy cool to me and if i had if i had a spare tank i was really tempted to take some of them home i'm not gonna lie i love the blue in those males it's so pretty and even the females look really cool they have this subtle iridescence that you can see um you know of course there's the there's rainbow fish in some of the display tanks that i love the most and uh you can probably tell why i love them the most but also things like robert's tank the the 75 gallon that's behind the cash register area the the counter kind of area it's not really just a cash register it's more counter um you know part of why i love that tank is because it's a lot like mine where it's just um you put a bunch of plants in and let them do their thing there's no there's no intricate rock work or big hardscape it's just plants and fish and letting them do their thing 
Uh, and a lot of those plants happen to have come from me or uh, have have gotten some advice from me in order to do well. Like it's just something that uh, I kind of like because I get to see little bits of my influence as as Robert gets himself better and better at plants, which he's he was pretty good to start, but now he's getting really good at plants. Um, it's it's cool to see those things come to life. And a big shout out to Robert for letting me film, being a, being a nice guy, and you know the other employees for not harassing me too much while I was short shooting a little bit of film. And of course, the obligatory appearance from the happiest fish probably on the planet, Murphy. That guy just looks like he's perpetually smiling, and I I love Murphy in every like doofy moment of how Mabu puffers are, where they just they look so happy and yet kind of kind of doofy at the same time. But man, they're just big aqua puppies. It's like having a you know, a golden retriever that swims constantly underwater. It's it's so cool. Uh, I cannot I cannot imagine how fun it is to have a pet like that. Of course, you need a massive tank for them, and that's why I don't have one. But one day, one day I think I will. Um, so I got I, I want to know what your guys' favorite tanks are. There, I know that it's not it's not like some of the other places you go where like say Green Aqua, where like every tank is gorgeous, but each tank kind of has a little personality to it. it. Has something different. More importantly, every tank has something. It's simple that any of us can do, whether we're experts or beginners. The goal is to show tanks that look good, but actually don't take that much work as far as establishing the plants because they're all beginner-friendly plants. Some of like the ones in Roberts are a little nicer, but for the most part, none of them. There's no CO2. There's maybe some higher light using like a Fluval 3.0, but other than that, it's just fertilizer, light, substrate, simple, nothing crazy, nothing too hard, and it looks great. And of course, you got tons of great looking fish. You've got Murphy, like the, the awesomest fish ever, and just a good environment, a place where, you know, it's simple, it's easy, but at the same time, it's nature. There's that whole sign above the... The, the counter, for those of you, yeah, I know you've all watched Aquarium Co-op, is Enjoy Nature Daily. And that's kind of one of those things that why I love this hobby is it's an opportunity to enjoy nature daily. Um, so I hope you guys like that. I was partially there for picking up some supplies. And also, um, just to let you guys know, some of that footage will be, and there's some other footage too that I'm using in another video, um, because... I want to talk about Kamaka rainbows. I've had a request for it. I think they're one of the coolest ones that you can, it's they're a lot more easily acquirable now. They're more common in stores. So that's one of the ones I want to talk about, kind of give you guys the details on how to keep that fish. I actually only have like one that was adopted. So I had to go up there to film them to be able to show you guys like what you're looking for and you know what it's going to look like when they're young versus when they get older. Um, when their color kind of settles in and you can tell male to female, things like that. Um, that'll be coming soon in the future, just to kind of a, a how-to basics on the Kamaka rainbow. And uh, yeah, I mean, pretty simple. A little trip to the aquarium co-op. That's always fun. Let me know down in the comments, you know, what was, what's your favorite tank? Or maybe which, uh, which, which fish did you see that you liked the most other than Murphy? Come on. I mean, the easy answer is Murphy, but there's... Which of the other ones that you could you could put in a, your own tank did you like the most? Um, you know, let me know down below if you guys like this content or maybe you want to see something a little more in depth at the Aquarium Co-op that, for some some reason, hasn't been covered by Aquarium Co-op. I, I don't know that that's possible, but you know, let me down let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll we'll just keep firing away and doing the stuff that you guys want to see to the best of my ability. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay awesome.